There's a bird outside. Can you see it? A bird outside? Yeah. Wow. No, it's I don't see. It. Well, it's far away enough. Let me, you know what? Let me go to the app. We will know exactly whether it's a bird and what it is. All right. Let me look. Oh, it's a blue jay. Look at that. You were right. Very pretty bird. Haha, <laughs> you notice the new box under the tree, right? This actually, yes, is a new present. We received it before Christmas and we are going to open it early because it's for the whole family for us to try. So this is a smart feeder cam for your birds. So I was very happy when I was offered to review the smart bird feeder from Peck Park. So we're gonna open it together and set it up. It is all modern technology, meaning you're gonna have to use an app on your phone and thanks to the app, you will be able to identify the bird that comes to eat at your feeder. So I thought that was pretty cool. We have a lot of birds here in the backyard and the girls are always asking me, what kind of bird is that, mom? You have some blue ones, red. So it's gonna be a fun toy and a fun uh, kind of natural science uh, subject here. So let's set it up together. All right. So, opening the box here. Well, actually, it comes with a pretty neat uh, user book. So, Whoa. yeah, usually all these electronics don't have much uh, of an installation, uh, how to use manual. This one does. All right. Maybe it's an instruction manual. It is an instruction manual. That's exactly what it is. Uh oh, here's the little bird feeder. I am excited on that one. All right. Yeah, it has to be set up. It comes with uh, quite a few. Uh... Oh, this is so cool. Look at that. That's actually the bird feeder. How cool is that? Why look, it came with a magnet. Oh, it comes with a magnet? Ooh, -hoo. okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, with the camera. Okay. I like yeah, me too. So far, Wait, so this good. Is where the food goes? Yeah, you're gonna have to put wow. food or water. I'm not sure. Let's I see how we set that one up. Food. You see because food? food okay. So the g girls are so happy because it came like Merry Christmas with two little magnets, birdie magnets to put on the fridge. Good job here. That's a very nice thought for the kids. Yay. It also comes with a solar charger. So that is also very neat because you won't need to replace with all the batteries. You have your little solar panel that connects with a USB-C cable. All very modern here. Yes, wall mounting screws. Wow, quite a few things to set it up. So I'm here by the pool, unpacked it. There you go. And I have the solar panel right there. It's still warm and sunny here in Texas, so very neat. As you can see, maybe there's a little green light. It's starting to charge. It's hooked up from the back with a USB, USB-C cable. You can also insert a memory card, a mini SD card in the camera so that you can actually record what it takes. So it can almost be a security camera with some birds visiting. And so this is a feeder and to set the feed, it is in the back right there. You want to screw it and just pull. Oops, you got the screw? Okay. And just over there, insert all the feed, pretty easy. The screw back, give me the screw. Okay, let's try not to lose that one. What does the back do? I guess that's more of an antenna. So, I did use the mount here and it gives us a lot of options. 
you can actually insert a strap and just strap it around the tree you also have all the desired screws if you want to screw it on the wall you have a lot of options on how to position this bird feeder but there it is we are gonna let it charge in the sun before screwing it because i want to try it on my app and see how it goes i put it next to the water because we have a pool here and we have a lot of birds yeah. that come in just to yeah. drink in the water so if we put feed here my guess is that they're gonna eat and drink yeah, and drink maybe we should put it by the pool so you can watch them drink and eat yes so this bird feeder came with a very detailed instruction manual and it was extremely easy to set up. All you need is an um, intelligent phone, a smartphone. So I have an iPhone 12 and it worked. I downloaded the app, Peck Perk, as you see here, very nice app, easy to set up as well once you have the app. This is really what you see, the opening screen when you go each time. And then you need to install your feeder, create a login, obviously, but set up the feeder, turn on the device to link it with the app. And then you have to get a code to enable the AI that is going to recognize the bird. So I was offered the code. I think it's a little supplement if you want to have it. So we ended up relocating the camera, the bird feeder right here. We've got a little rabbit cage. It's actually a really nice setting. Look at the way it was uh, set here. So it's right actually on the side. We can still open the door and we have the solar panel at the top, getting all the sunshine to power the camera. Fortunately, despite the food, as you can see here, we've got quite a bit of food. We don't have many birds showing up. It is winter and it's still full of squirrel, more than birds. So I've been waiting, waiting, but not many have showed up yet. So I enabled notification here on my phone and I get a little message every time it detects a motion. And initially it was a lot of squirrels. So I discovered that squirrels, I knew they liked my tomatoes in the backyard, but they also like bird food because really they were the first visitors <laughs> and they finished the first set of bird food. So we had to put some more, but fortunately after the squirrels, we did get quite a few birds. So let us show you the birdies. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel as well. Check out this product. It's really neat. Uh, both for the bird feeder watcher identification option as well as the fact that it's a hidden security camera. I've got it facing the back of the house, which is really cool. So I really like it so far. I just wish we had more birds visiting, but it's the winter. So even if it's Texas, I'm wearing t-shirt, as you can see here, it's warm. There aren't that many birds. So that's a shame. Everything gets eaten by the squirrels. Ah. I spoke too fast and now the birds are coming and not just one, quite a few. So we're starting here with a red cardinal, very nice, pretty bird, but we also had some blue jay and northern cardinal. Look at these videos. So this little cutie here is a blue jay and you have the option to go into the playback. So you can go back actually many days and every time you have a motion, which can be a visitor at your feeder, uh, hopefully a bird and not a squirrel, you can play back. You've got about 10 seconds and you can of course add your own memory cards if you want longer clips and you can share as well to an email or a text message. So that uh, other can see what's going on in your backyard and what visitors you've had. Quite a few birds here, as you can see. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel as well. And if you're interested in this bird feeder, you can check the link in the description below. 
So overall, we really like the product. It's very easy to navigate in the app and set up. That was really a breeze. I believe you do have to pay a small fee in order to get the actual bird identification tool. It's an AI driven uh, algorithm software in there. Me, I got it for free given it's a trial. I just wish I had more birds to identify, but it does definitely identify what is going on because it tells me I have a squirrel visiting. And you can enable notification on the app so that it just uh, pops up on your screen, on your phone screen. It's really up to you, working really nicely. So I would encourage to try it out. I will put the link in the description below. And hopefully by springtime, we'll get a lot of notifications saying that we have a little birdie visiting in here and we can use the app and the AI uh, option to tell us what bird it is.